The rolling hills of southeastern Ohio are home to Young's Cattle Company. Rick and Jane Young are West Virginia transplants with the cattle business in their blood. Fifteen years ago, we, uh, me, Jane and myself, we came to Ohio, and I was always wanting to come over here and start farming. And uh, she said if I could find a piece of ground she liked, we would do that. When we were dating, we would um, haul cattle from various places to various places. Um, we enjoyed every aspect of it, and uh, did we know we was going to build up to something like never in our wildest dreams. Today, Rick and Jane work together, caring for a 400-head Angus-based cow-calf herd and backgrounding 5,000 feeder calves annually. A few years back, Rick retired after nearly four decades working for the local electric company. During those years, Jane was not only a homemaker, but also the main herdsman of their operation. When I was at the power plant, somebody had to take care of the farm, and that was, that was her job. She was the herdsman, so, and uh, she did a very good job at it. Rick worked for AEP for 37 years. The boys and I stayed at home and, and did a smaller operation of some kind, and never dreamed it would lead to uh, the vast uh, operation it is today. If it wasn't for my partner, I probably wouldn't have this operation. The part of the Buckeye State Rick and Jane call home didn't always have such abundant forage. Young's Cattle Company sits on about 2,800 acres of land that was once strip mined for coal. It took hard work, the application of biosolids, and wise management to build up the soil health and to turn these once barren hills into lush pastures where cattle thrive today. The thing I'm most proud of is taking mine ground that most people give up on and just like grow up and have um, no pasture area over five years it's solid to lush green pastures that healthy cattle can uh, roam over and wildlife can enjoy at the same time. Ohio has a lot of strip mine ground but not everybody has understood or probably had the energy and the knowledge to be able to really bring that land into production like Rick and Jane. I think people's very surprised at uh, the way this land has came back to life. We have a lot of grazing. People come here for grazing tours. To, we go around and look at the different grasses we have. We've got the clovers, the alfalfa, just so many different types of grass. And, uh, and they're amazed because a lot of them feel that some of our pasture fields is better than their hay fields. Rick and Jane have worked with USDA's Natural Resources and Conservation Service, or NRCS, to install heavy use pads for feeding cattle when it's muddy. They've also put up miles of fencing to manage their rotational grazing program and to keep cattle out of their many ponds and streams. Large rubber tires, like the ones found on the machines that once strip mined the land, have been recycled and now serve as water troughs. We've uh, worked with NRCS on uh, on laying out the uh, the paddocks for the grazing and putting in feed pads, access roads, and the water lines. With their input, their knowledge of uh, you know what they've what they've done and putting some of my knowledge with theirs, and we've worked together and come up with some pretty good plans. They're stewards. They are. They always open their place for farmers, for grazing, for anybody. And if I need to educate somebody, I bring them out here, and they were willing to talk with them. They're not just. They're not keeping their knowledge to themselves. They spread their knowledge. Visitors to Young's Cattle Company may also see the cattle enjoying an innovative feed that reduces landfill waste. Rick and Jane recycle leftover bread products from a local bakery and use them to supplement the usual diet of grass and hay. It cuts costs and promotes more gain. I get, a, I get probably an extra pound, pound and a half of gain on my cattle that's out on grass during the, the summer where I wouldn't normally. I don't feed it to them all the time, but I try to give, them, give it to them once a week. The grass out here is their breakfast, dinner, and supper, and the bread's their dessert, and they, they look forward to it. Young's Cattle Company has been commended by both the Ohio Senate and House for its environmental stewardship. Rick and Jane work hard every day to make sure this once strip mined land remains a healthy, productive resource. I hope that I'm blessed enough that when I can't do it anymore, 
um, at that time I will know, but as long as I can get out and do this, this is what I want to do. It's just a great feeling to know that you can got a place that's peaceful and quiet and you can go and you can go and walk the fields with each other and look the cows over and don't have a worry in the world. Just clouds above you and green grass all around.